Hello, global viewers, and we're back to make our second vegan holiday dish, vegan green bean casserole. We've washed and trimmed four and a half cups of fresh green beans, but you can certainly use canned or frozen. And fresh is always better. Fresh does seem to taste better and more vibrant. Yeah, so can I help with cutting? Yeah, certainly. So we're going to cut those in half, and then we're going to boil them for about four to five minutes, and we will put them in ice water. We're gonna strain them and put them in ice water to shock them cold, to stop the cooking process. Like this? Yes, very good. And this is a great side dish. Um, it goes with pretty much any um, American holiday food. So tofurkey, the, um, the New England style vegan sausage stuffing we made goes well with that. When it's not a holiday season, this is a good dish, a side dish, to make it tasty and it's healthy. Wow, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. We're going to boil it? Yes, yeah, so just put it in the boiling water, Whoop. gently. Ah, beautiful. So you can add the salt, that's about a teaspoon. If you add it afterwards, it doesn't flavor it as much. If we add a drop of oil in the water, um, the vegetable will become very green and brighter. So just a dip. Great. And then we'll let that boil for about four minutes. And this is what we're going to use, this casserole pan. And once you put it in a, in a pan though, you don't want to transfer it to another container. You want to leave it in that pan because it's going to, what's no, it's going to set in the oven and you don't really want to disturb that until you're serving it. So I was just showing you the pan. So we'll use that in a minute. And this is the water we're gonna shock the green beans with. Shock them cold. Now we'll put the colander in the icy water and we'll take it out. Yes, they've been cooking for about five minutes and they are bright green and ready to be um, cooled. So to stop the cooking process, or putting them in icy water. And you can you can do this method where you take it out and you put it in the colander that's in the icy water. Or you could strain it over a sink uh, and pour the water out and the green beans would go into the um, in the colander. So we'll make it cold? Yeah, so you gotta really dip those. You might have to dump them in like that. So we're going to remove the colander so that it can just um, cool them that way. So we've drained the green beans out of the icy water, and now we're going to put them in the casserole dish. It looks very pretty. Yes, it's vibrant green from um, stopping the cooling process. And okay, so half of a box of portobello mushroom soup. And it's organic? It is organic. Mm -hmm. And that's my favorite kind. Um, if you found another vegan uh, mushroom soup, you could certainly use that. Um, but I, I use this. Imagine portobello mushroom creamy soup. And I'm gonna put half of the box into the can. And we're gonna add to that um, one fourth of cup, uh, one fourth of a cup of soy milk, also organic. So I, I recommend using organic products as much as possible because um, you know they're better for you, and I think they taste better, and you want to be healthy. So, so we're gonna just mix this up. It looks very creamy. Yes, but the milk, the soy milk, will make it a little creamier. And when it heats up, we're gonna add two tablespoons of the all-purpose white flour which is the only component of this recipe that makes it um, not gluten-free. So, like I said, if you want to use cornstarch instead, just to thicken the mushroom soup. So we have our two tablespoons of flour, and we're going to add um, two tablespoons of water so it won't clump when we add it to the soup. So we just mix it. And you want to mix your mushroom soup and your soy milk together over medium heat. Pour it right in the soup. 
gonna thicken right up. Yeah, I changed the color so a little bit. You might want to make sure the heat is down and that your bottom of your pan it might be starting to get thick from the mushroom soup. Yeah, it looks even more creamy. Yep, and you don't need to cook it long, so that's good. We just want to mix everything together. We're gonna add it right to the green bean mixture, and that'll cook more in the oven. So. Just like the green beans, if you didn't think that they were quite soft enough, they will cook more in the oven. So we are adding the um, fried crispy onion rings. So we're going to use lard in the green bean casserole. And that is uh, about about a cup, and a, a, a one and a third cup. Should we just, yep, we'll just go ahead and pour it in. It's pretty. Yeah. It and it's pretty. very festive. And then when the... When it's about 10 minutes from being done, we will take it out of the oven and we'll add more fried onion rings to the top. Now for that purpose, I got crunches from fried onion rings so that it would cover the top more thoroughly because they are a little fatter and they, um, they tend to have better coverage. So the smell already comes out. Okay, so let's add the rest of the ingredients. Salt. Salt. That's about one quarter to one half teaspoon. And that is black pepper, but a lot of people prefer the white pepper for green bean casserole. But it's optional, so you don't have to add the salt or the pepper. And we're going to add nutmeg. Now, some people do like to um, grind, grind the nutmeg themselves with a little grinder. But for convenience sake today, we are using ground nutmeg. One tablespoon? Yeah, try one tablespoon. That's good. And we'll mix it all together. Perfect. And we're just gonna put this straight in the oven. So we're gonna bake it at 30 minutes for, uh, at 375 degrees. It's been about 20 minutes that we've been baking the vegan green bean casserole, and we are now ready to put our topper on, and this is how it looks after 20 minutes. So we're now gonna put the French's French fried onion rings, because they are a little bigger and they do look a little more golden. It smells already very, very good. Is it enough? Nope, keep going. We really want to cover the whole top. It makes it, it gives it a really festive look. Good. That? Perfect. So it's about six ounces. So we're going to put this back in the oven for another 10 minutes and let that get golden brown. Can't wait. So it's been the last 10 minutes and we took the green bean casserole out of the oven and it looks golden brown and crispy on top. It smells so delicious. It looks good. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Oh. You can tell me what you think. Of course. Mm. Mm. It's so crispy. I really like it. And it's very, very creamy. The soup is good. The mushroom um, soup is really, really good. Yeah, it has a creamy, um, gravy-like consistency. And the Onions inside give it a nice um, onion flavor and complexity, and um, the onions on top, I give it that crunch. We wish you an awesome, delicious vegan Thanksgiving. For free of charge international vegan recipes, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash veg.